City manager Brian Kishnick has had an eventful year. Uh, he pleaded no contest to assaulting a woman who worked for him in Clawson back in March. A judge raised his bond after discovering he'd reached out to the victim after that assault, violating the conditions of his bond. And tonight, an even more damning portrait of Kishnick. Rod Maloney live with more on that. Rod? Yeah, Devin, this is a 500-page report that we received from the city of Troy, and it's an investigation into Kishnick back in 2016. I spent most of the day reading this, and while the city council had told him that they wanted him to act like a CEO, this report says that he acted more like a tyrant. While on the job, Kishnick made more than $200,000 a year, including benefits. The report says the investigation started because a number of Troy City employees noticed Kishnick spending city money improperly and felt Kishnick's wrath for pointing it out. A department head is quoted as saying, quote, called up to Brian's office and was yelled at for 15 minutes. I should not question the city manager. He knows all the policies. He can make a decision to buy anything without quotes or follow procedures. I was told that I better get on board with how things are going to be and to lose my attitude. Among the concerning spending, getting passes to Troy recreational facilities for his mother-in-law and other family members exceeding $1,000. Having the city pay $1,500 to repair a car, Kishnick hit with a city vehicle, even though the city had no fault insurance and should only have paid the driver's deductible. Kishnick's contract gave him a monthly stipend to drive his own car for city business, but he was using city motor pool vehicles and even had the city council buy him a Jeep Grand Cherokee. He apparently purchased thousands of dollars in cell phone equipment from Sprint when the city had a contract with Verizon, Kishnick is quoted as saying, quote, okay, we spend that much on pencils, end quote. Attorney Craig Lang, who investigated the case, said, quote, another characterized his behavior at times with department heads as a blow-up attack, behavior that has never been experienced in her career, end quote. Now, even though Kishnick had hired an employee that he, and he didn't follow any of the internal procedures, and the Lang, the investigator, said that he violated the state constitution and the city, uh, the, the city charter on a number of different occasions, he did not recommend firing him. And in fact, at that time, the city council decided to keep him. He has since been fired. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.